Google I.O. es una conferencia para desarrolladores, donde también se hace el lanzamiento de diferentes tipos de aplicaciones, servicios y dispositivos de hardware. En este video vamos a explicar en 10 minutos todas las novedades presentadas por la gigante de la tecnología en este evento tan especial. Of course, building a more helpful Google for us always starts with search. Last year, we launched a new feature in Google News called Full Coverage, and we have gotten great feedback on it from our users. We'll be bringing full coverage directly to search to better organize results for news-related topics. Podcasts are another important source of information, and we'll be bringing them directly to search as well. By indexing podcasts, we can surface relevant episodes based on their content, not just the title. And you can tap to listen right in search results, or you can save an episode for listening later on your commute or your Google Home. We are excited to bring the camera to Google search. So you may have all seen a great white shark in the movies. Jaws, anyone? But what does it actually look like up close? Why don't we go one step further? Why don't we invite the shark to the stage? Whoa! There it is. Say you're at a restaurant trying to figure out what to order. You can simply point your camera. Lens automatically highlights the popular dishes at this restaurant, right on the menu. It can calculate the tip and even split the total. Again, just by pointing your camera at the receipt, and voila. Directly from the Google search bar, you can use Lens, open it, point it at the sign to hear the text read out aloud to you. Information for card holders. All customers using old proprietary magnetic stripe cards should be advised. You can also translate it into your own language. This eliminates network latency and makes the assistant so much faster, so fast, that tapping to use your phone would seem slow. Hey, Google. Open calendar. Open calculator. Open photos. Set a timer for 10 minutes. What's the weather today? What about tomorrow? Show me John Legend on Twitter. Get a lift ride to my hotel. Turn the flashlight on. Turn it off. Take a selfie. In fact, this next generation assistant is coming to the new Pixel phones later this year. <laughs> Introducing the assistant's new driving mode. Just put your phone in the car and say, hey, Google, let's drive. Driving mode has a thoughtfully designed dashboard that brings your most relevant activities front and center while you're driving. Driving mode will be available this summer on any Android phone with the Assistant. Incognito mode has, a pop, has been a popular feature in Chrome since it launched, and we are bringing this to Maps. While in incognito in Maps, your activity, like the places you search and navigate to, won't be linked to your account. We want to make it easy to enter in and out of incognito, and Maps will soon join Chrome and YouTube with support for incognito, and we'll be bringing it to search as well this year. Today, we are making two-step verification even more convenient for everyone by bringing the protection of security keys directly into your Android phone. So now you can confirm a sign-in with just a tap. As you'll see in this example, Nicole, who is deaf and prefers not to speak, can receive a call from our hairstylist. Hi, 
This is Nicole's assistive chat. She'll see what you say, and her responses will be read back to you, starting now. Hi, Nicole. It's Jamie. How are you? Hey, Jamie. I'm good, and you? Perfect. Thumbs up. Great. See you tomorrow. Bye. So I start playing a game on the folded, smaller screen. When I sit down and unfold, the game seamlessly transfers to the larger screen. It is so cool. Live caption in Q takes audio and instantly turns it into text. Oh, oh, I guess not. Puppy is walking away. <laughs> but what makes this feature so incredible is that it's entirely done on device. In fact, it doesn't need to be connected to the internet at all. If we take a look, this entire demo I've done in airplane mode. Now, the same on-device machine learning powers another useful queue feature, which is Smart Reply. With Smart Reply, the OS helpfully suggests what you'll type next. It'll predict the text you'll type, even emoji. And it's a huge time saver. What's really cool is this works now for all messaging apps in Android. Now, there's one more addition to Android Q that's small, but you've been asking us about for a while. And that is Dark Theme. And we're launching it in Q. With Q, your device will give you helpful reminders whenever an app accesses location when you're not actively using that app. Say you want to get pizza delivered. You can choose to share your location only while the app is in use. And as soon as you close, you'll stop sharing location. Now, your Android device gets regular up security updates already. But you still have to wait for the release, and you have to reboot when they come. We want you to get these faster, even faster. And that's why in Q, we're making a set of OS modules updatable directly over the air. So now these can be updated individually as soon as they are available and without a reboot of the device. And when I'm trying to do this, like working, maybe it's studying for you, I don't want email or anything else to distract me. And that's why we've created a new mode for Android. It's called Focus Mode. When I enter focus mode, I can select the apps that I find distracting. For me, that's email, the news. So now they're turned off, and I can really get to work. Focus mode is coming to devices on P and Q this fall. In Q, Family Link parental controls will be built right into the settings of the device. And now in Android Q, you can set time limits on specific apps. And when your child hits that device bedtime, if you want to give them just five more minutes, now we have bonus time. So today, I'm excited to announce that Q Beta 3 is available on 21 devices. Now, we've also been working on a new display, introducing Nest Hub Max. Hub Max is designed to give you full control over the camera. Nothing is streamed or recorded unless you intentionally enable it. And you'll always know when the camera is on with a green indicator light. You have multiple controls to disable camera features, and a physical switch on the back electrically disconnects the camera and the microphones. And now when the volume's up, instead of yelling at the assistant to turn it down or pause the game, with the camera, it's as simple as a gesture. You just raise your hand. All this will be available on Nest Hub Max later this summer for just $229. And today, we're lowering the price of the original Nest Hub from $149 to $129. And we're expanding its availability to 12 new markets and supporting nine new languages. I want to introduce you to the newest members of the Pixel family, Google Pixel 3a and 3a XL, designed to deliver premium features at a price people will love. They start at just $399. Pixel 3a comes in three colors, just black, clearly white, and a new color, purple-ish. What other smartphone cameras try to do with expensive hardware? We can deliver with software and AI, including high-end computational photography. So here's what that means. Pixel 3a can take amazing photos in low light with night sight. It's one of Pixel's most popular features. We've also enabled Pixel's portrait mode on both the front and rear cameras. And our Super Res Zoom applies computational photography, so you can get closer to your subject while still maintaining a high degree of resolution. Pixel 3a and 3a XL are available in 13 markets starting today.